right, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen, dudes and dudettes. This is gonna be a two-part vlog. Guess what? I got tickets to go see the night before uh, early. I'm really not sure when it's coming out. I know it's coming out sometime soon, but I got the email today to come down and see the early premiere, so I'm gonna go check it out. So, this is something I've actually been thinking about for a while. It's one of those things I was mentioning to you that um, I wanted to start doing with you guys. One of those things, one of those ideas that I had, and it's doing early movie premiere reviews for you without spoiling the movie, you know? I want to give you an idea of whether or not you should go see it, but at the same time, not spoil it for you. I hate when people spoil shit for me, but that's my vow. So today is going to be the night before. Today is November the 16th, and the movie's starting at 7.30 p.m. So my plan is to let you know, number one, was it funny? It's a comedy. I'm gonna put these things in categories for you so that way I can fully review the movie, let you know what I feel about it, but not spoil anything. So, is it funny? Number one, is the writing good? Is the content good? Were the actors good? You know, whatever it is I could think of after the movie, I'm gonna let you know. You know, were the cliffhangers good? anything you know every and anything that I come up with after the movie I'm gonna let you know so I hope you like it I hope I'm able to give you guys good early content on movies so you can make a suggestion for like a date night or anything like that that's my whole purpose I want you to be able to go out on dates or go see movies on your own or what have you and not waste your money or have it be a really good time All right, so I just got back from watching The Night Before with Seth Rogen. It was a decent 7 out of 10. It really was. You know, I thought it was going to be really heavy on the comedy. Now, there was comedy. There was comedy. But it was more of a story about friends. It was more of a story about three separate lives. And the events that take them through their lives. It's it's definitely worth seeing because of the uh, the undertone and because of the message that's being displayed overall. I give it a seven out of ten. On the funny uh, factor, I give it about the same seven of seven out of ten. Was it really wasn't that funny it was decent but if you like any Seth Rogen film you'll definitely like this it's definitely worth a watch and one lesson that I learned from it was as you really get older it's really hard to maintain friendships because life just gets in the way but what you have to do is make time you have to make time and it was interesting that from a Seth Rogen film, I would learn a lesson like that. Well, family, like I told you, I would not ruin the movie for you. Definitely go see it if you can. It's the night before with Seth Rogen. Hope you guys had a good day. I surely did. Had a great evening. And I'll catch you on the next vlog. Holla.